Manually adding torrents via feed is somewhat convenient, but let's face it, if you're going to add RSS feed, you probably want to automate downloading. Now that you know how to add feeds, it's time to create filters. RSS Manager To open the RSS Manager, right-click on the RSS icon from the left side of the menu and select RSS Manager, or you can use the RSS icon from the top bar to bring up the RSS Manager. The Filter Manager has several option settings. 1. Add. This adds a new filter rule. 2. Filter. This is where you put the filter rejects. 3. Exclude. This is where you put the exclude rejects. 4. Check fields. This is where you decide what the filter should match against. Title field. This is the title of the RSS entry. Description field. This is the description data from the RSS item. Link field. This is the HTTP link for the RSS item. The default is to use only the title field. If you use the others, make sure you know what you're doing, otherwise it could lead to unwanted matches. 5. Directory. This is the save path for the torrent data. Having underscore get dir plugin helps here. 6. Match interval. This is the rate at which the filter will download new torrents. The default is always. 7. Label. This is the label for root torrent, mainly used to sort the list of seeding torrents. Note, if you use auto tools and leave this blank, it will automatically label the torrent based on normal auto tools rules. 8. Ratio group. This is the ratio group you want the match torrents to be in. 9. Download options. These define behavior for match torrents. Don't add the torrent's name to path or don't start download automatically. Torrent added to list in stopped format. So, to add a filter, just click the Add button. This will create an empty filter rule. Give it a name and enter your Rejects filter in the Filter section. For more info on Rejects, see www.regular-extensions.info. Also, Rejects filters in root torrent need to be enclosed in backslash backslash i tags. You could use other tags, but this is the standard case insensitive tag. An example of a filter might be, if you wish to exclude items from your filter, you could code this into the standard filter, but it's much more simple to use the exclude option. The syntax for this field is the same as the filter field. A standard exclude might look like this. The default is often the desired case. The other two options are used much less often. The description field is the RSS description or category. The link field is the actual HTTP link. Using these checkboxes allows you to match texts in these areas. You set the download path. This can come in handy when using plug-in auto tools. Most of the other options are already explained or are self-explanatory. If you have any questions, be sure to ask in the forums at http colon backslash backslash forums dot dot org. Here's what an RSS filter might look like. You can add as many filters as you like. To disable a filter, you can click the checkbox next to the filter's name. 